uh, this video clip demonstrates how adaptive support ventilation um, responds to decreases in compliances, which is nice. It's very um, safe, lung protective, and it's going to decrease the target tidal volumes. However, one consideration this brings up is post open heart surgery, where the patient's already prone to a lot of atelectasis um, from being on um, bypass. And the patient is prone or more prone to atelectasis depending on post operative techniques. Some anesthesiologists use recruitment maneuvers to bag the patient back up to get them recruited. Um, some institutions use a higher amount of PEEP from 10 centimeters of water after post open heart surgery um, to keep the patient recruited. And then other institutions will actually do recruitment maneuvers if they see changes in um, blood gases and hypoxia due to this atelectasis. Um, one area of consideration is um, actual body weight versus the obese patient and the extra drop in FRC due to the increase in body mass index. And it's been well documented that as BMI goes up, your FRC is going to drop significantly also. So this example just to show where your target tidal volumes start with normal lung compliances and when you start having a decrease in lung compliance. So right now, uh, my example is a 70 kilogram patient, so my target minute ventilation is 7 liters per minute. And based on the um, resistance of 9, which is normal, and the compliance of 66, I have it set up for a normal patient now. Um, my target tidal volume is 513. So this is approximately 7.5 cc's per kilogram of ideal body weight. So it's very lung protective. However, post-op open heart surgery, this might not be appropriate, might not allow enough ventilation and recruitment of the lung. So I'm just going to start the scenario. And as you notice, I already told you it was normal patient. And the patient has no effort at all right now, no spontaneous rate at all. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to decrease the compliance from 66 down to 50. And that's just dropping the compliance by 16 centimeters of water. And show you how the ventilator responds. Now it's nice that the ventilator will titrate the target tidal volume down and be more lung protective for the patient. This is good for a patient whose pathology changes. For example, a patient that has um, ARDS or lung injury, but this could be detrimental in a patient that is just very obese and their compliance is falsely calculated due to the abdomen pressing down on the lung. So I'm just going to decrease it down a little more by 5 centimeters of water. So now the compliance is 45, and we're going to look at the new target. And the new target is dropping. And it's going to be approximately 463, which is now only 6.6 .6 cc's per kilogram of ideal body weight. So as you can see, for a patient with ARDS, this would probably be fine. However, for a patient that's post-op, they could be very hypoxic. Thank you.